Hey guys, it's Chris. From a boy literally raised by birds to the girl who grew up in a family of monkeys, here are 10 true stories of children raised by animals. Number 10. The Wolf Boy When it comes to children being raised by animals, the most common story you hear is the boy raised by wolves in the forest. And the wolf boy named Ramu is undoubtedly the most famous case of this actually happening. He was originally found in 1976, running through the woods on all fours with a group of wolf cubs who apparently the child had been growing up alongside of. His hair was matted, he had long nails like claws, and he was in very poor health. The local Indian news stations reported he was about 10 years old at the time he was discovered. He had been eating raw meat with his wolf family, and even after he was captured and brought back to society, the boy would sometimes sneak outside and eat raw chickens that he found in the neighborhood. Luckily for him, he was sent to live with Mother Teresa's missionaries of charity, and they patiently taught him how to bathe and wear clothes and act like a relatively normal human. However, the boy never really learned how to speak, and he never really integrated into society. Then, in 1985, the United News of India reported that Ramu the wolf boy had died in his early 20s while living in a home for the destitute in the state of Uttar Pradesh, which is about 250 miles from the capital, New Delhi. It was not clear why he died exactly, but he had apparently developed cramps several weeks prior to his death and had never been given medical treatment. In this case, the wolf boy did not have a very Disney ending. Number 9. The Wild Girl in France the wild girl of France wasn't raised by animals, but by the wilderness itself. So far as the story goes, the girl was first spotted in 1731 in the Champagne region of France, stealing apples from somebody's tree. She was dressed in rags and carried a club with her. The villagers set their dogs on the girl, but she swiftly beat them off with her club, climbed onto the trees, and then vanished into the forest. It was such a bizarre occurrence that the local nobleman ordered her to be caught, and she was. Only she couldn't really talk. She hissed and screeched at the humans, acting as if she were a wild animal. Sources at the time claimed that she looked to be anywhere between 10 and 18 years old. In 1755, a biographer chronicled the wild girl's story, and what she found was nothing short of fantastic. It turned out that the wild girl had been sold into slavery when she was only 7 years old and shipped from somewhere near Wisconsin to France. But during that trip, the boat shipwrecked, and she ended up being washed ashore in France, at which point she slunk into the woods and became completely wild. After her capture in 1731, she was baptized and treated at a hospital, where her teeth fell out and she had a pretty hard time stabilizing. However, she did manage to learn fluent French and she then became wildly wealthy. A local duke was fascinated by her and gifted her with a generous sum of money, which allowed her to move to Paris. And throughout her long life, she would meet many famous figures, such as Queen Marie, the legendary wife of Louis XV. Number 8. The Monkey Boy John Sesbanya, a native of Uganda, disappeared into the forest at a young age in the 1980s. He did this after allegedly witnessing his father murder his mother when he was only about three years old. Rather than sticking around to deal with the consequences, John ran off into the forest and was then raised by monkeys. The child managed to survive by watching the monkeys and then mimicking their actions. He lived like this, surviving from only the knowledge he gained from the monkeys, till 1991 when he was discovered by a random villager. By then, John was more monkey than man, and even when John became an adult, he still couldn't shed his monkey tendencies. Of course, there were a lot of people who disputed John's story. There will always be doubters, but this is a legit story that actually happened. The villagers who first found John were even scared that he was an evil spirit. And to confirm his story, a BBC documentary crew working with anthropologists put John into a wild group of monkeys to see what would happen, and they found that he could communicate with the monkeys far better than any normal person. Plus, the monkeys immediately behaved as they would with another member of their monkey group. This really solidified the fact that John was definitely raised by the animals and John actually went on to have a pretty fantastic life. He participated in the Special Olympics in both 1999 and 2003. Do you think you could live in the forest with some monkeys? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 7. Gazelle Boy 
The gazelle boy has a far more intriguing story than almost any other child raised by animals. Forget about monkeys and wolves, this next boy was literally raised by wild gazelles. He was first discovered in the 1950s by an anthropologist named Jean-Claude Auger as he traveled across the Sahara. There had been rumors in the region about a boy running with the gazelles, but it took roughly a week for the anthropologist to locate him. And when he did, he couldn't believe his eyes. The gazelle boy walked on all fours, he had insanely powerful muscles in his legs, and he behaved just like a gazelle. He even twitched all of his muscles in response to noise, just like a gazelle or deer would. Naturally, the anthropologist captured the gazelle boy, though not before chasing him in his jeep to see just how fast he could run. The boy was estimated at running about 34 miles per hour, and with the ability to leap about 13 feet through the air. In comparison, most Olympic sprinters can only run at about 27 miles per hour. It looks like if you want to win the Olympics, you better get raised by gazelles. In the end, the gazelle boy allegedly escaped captivity and went back into the wild. However, nobody actually knows if this story is true. Some swear it really happened, and others say it was just an elaborate hoax from the 1950s. Number 6. The Boy Who Lived With Dogs Ivan Mishikov was a young boy living alone on the streets of Moscow in the 1990s. He was what you might call a street urchin. However, he was just a young boy and needed to survive. Ivan soon learned that if he took care of the wild dogs around him, they would take care of him in turn. Ivan was only four years old when he integrated himself into the dog pack and began prowling the streets of Moscow like his canine companions. This went on for several years until Ivan was eventually captured by the local authorities. And what happened next will really make you wonder who the real animals are. After Ivan was taken away from his dog family by the authorities, he was brought to an orphanage. The dogs from his pack then began to wait outside the orphanage for Ivan to come out. And guess what the humans did? They rounded them up and killed them. They literally killed Ivan's family. And while this is definitely devastating and tragic, Ivan actually ended up having a pretty normal life. He's still alive today, all over social media, and he has a proper job, a real human family, and is doing extraordinarily well for a boy who started life homeless and literally living with dogs. Number 5. Boy Raised by Birds In another shocking story straight out of Russia, there was once a boy who had been treated like a pet bird by his mother and ended up being raised essentially by the other birds in the house. He was rescued by Russian care workers at the age of seven and could only communicate by chirping like a bird. The child was found inside of a small apartment filled mostly with bird cages and covered in bird food and bird poop. His mother had apparently never spoken human words to him in all of his life, and so his only way of communicating had been by mimicking the birds in the apartment. When he was spoken to by a human, all he did was chirp back. This is definitely one of the stranger cases of child abuse because the boy's mother never beat him or did anything inherently cruel. She just never spoke to him, so his language became that of the birds. The boy was temporarily transferred to an asylum after being rescued, and then he was taken to a psychological care center. According to the Daily Mail, his mother willingly signed an abdication releasing him into the government's care, and hopefully this boy will be able to learn how to properly talk so he can grow up to be able to be a functional member of society. Number 4. The Leopard Boy It seems unbelievable, but there was apparently a young boy from a small village in India who had been stolen by a leopard at the young age of only two. It happened while his mother was out in the fields cutting rice. The villagers had apparently killed two of the leopard's cubs in the previous days, and the mother had been lurking along the outskirts of the village ever since. The leopard allegedly took the boy, brought him into the jungle, and instead of eating him, raised him as her own cub for five long years. When the boy was finally discovered, it was by hunters outside of the village. They killed the mama leopard and found the young boy hiding with two other leopard cubs. During those few years he had lived with the leopards, the boy had developed a very keen sense of smell. His toes had turned upright to help him run, and the palms of his hands had become calloused with extremely tough skin. He was pretty feral. The boy would fight and bite any person who got too close to him. And when he spotted something like a wild fowl, he would run at it and tear it to pieces. The boy had been so dramatically altered that he wouldn't even sleep in his own bed when he was returned to his human family's house. His father had to tie him to a post in the yard and let him sleep outside. In the end, the leopard boy apparently made a fairly normal recovery. Number 3. Children of Wolves 
In the 1920s, two girls named Amala and Kamala were found being raised by a she-wolf in the wilds of India. They were first spotted by a local villager who thought it was strange that two of the wolf's cubs looked an awful lot like humans. It turned out they were humans, and they were quickly seized by the villagers and then taken to an orphanage. Both of the young girls appeared wolfish, they were extremely fond of raw meat, and they slurped their liquids with their tongues rather than drinking like ordinary humans. Their tongues even hung out of their mouths just like wolves. Unfortunately, the youngest girl died shortly after being brought to the orphanage, and her sister Kamala was left alone with the workers at the orphanage. As hard as they tried, it was difficult getting Kamala to speak properly or even act like a human. They did make very slow progress, but it was clear that living in the wild as a child had essentially ruined her brain. She simply couldn't become human again. It was never found out who left the two girls in the wild in the first place, and unfortunately, Kamala then passed away in 1929, less than 10 years after she was rescued. Number 2. Wild Peter in 1725, Wild Peter was found alone, naked, and completely barbarian in a German forest. He was likely left behind by his parents who probably didn't have the means to care for him. But it turned out okay for Peter, who managed to care for himself pretty well. To this day, Wild Peter is one of the most confusing stories of feral children, and also one of the most inhumane. You see, after Peter was rescued from the forest, he was brought to London where he became a human pet at the famous Kensington Palace. Everybody assumed the boy had been raised by either wolves or bears, seeing as he hobbled around on all fours, he couldn't talk, and nobody seemed able to teach him English. He wouldn't even sleep in a bed. Instead, Peter preferred to curl up on the floor and go to sleep in the corner. But here's where things got really grotesque. The fancy folks at Kensington Palace grew tired of Peter, and so they donated him to a farm. This guy was literally treated like an animal. The farm that he went to even had a collar made for him in case he got lost. And according to the BBC, you can still see Peter's headstone in Hertfordshire today. Number 1. The Girl Raised by Monkeys A crew of lumberjacks working in a secluded area of India made the discovery of a lifetime when they stumbled upon a young girl walking on all fours and screeching at them as if she were a monkey. The woodsmen quickly alerted government officials of what they had seen, and two months later she was discovered again by the proper authorities living near to the Nepalese border. It turned out that the young girl had been raised by a troop of monkeys. She was found mostly naked, completely unable to talk to humans, and she had wounds all over her legs and elbows. According to the authorities at the time, she had been living comfortably with the animals. She was also completely terrified of the humans who found her. She couldn't speak or even hear properly. She was being guarded by actual monkeys, and she appeared weakened and very hungry. According to her rescuers, if they hadn't got there in time, the young girl could have easily been eaten by other animals. Her rescuers gave her some food to eat and took her out of the jungle. It wasn't clear what age she'd been abandoned, but it was early enough for her to become more of a monkey than a human. Even after being brought back to civilization and checked into a hospital, she had trouble adjusting to her new life. Even the chief medical officer of the hospital said she was behaving just like a monkey. Ever since the story was first published, the girl has been making small steps towards transitioning back into being a human. Hopefully, by the time she's an adult, she can live a normal life. Thanks for watching. Which animal would you prefer to be raised by? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.